What up guys? Welcome back to my channel. I just want to let you guys know that I am going to be streaming most of the nights every night on Twitch. So go make sure to follow me on Twitch because come hang out with me and sip the tea. Take a sip of the tea because we about to spill the tea. Let's get it. Let's get right into this video. Let's go. Now, some of you might be here because you are thinking about what's in your dip, okay? And I have some pros and cons for you. Yes, I do. And some of you are here because you love me. And I love you. We love each other. We squad. So today, basically, I'm going to be telling you guys if it's worth getting your diff welded as a daily. Now, as you guys know, I used to daily my Nelson here. He's my 350Z. I've had it for over two years. And I love him. And now I got a new car. And he is feeling sad because he has not been popping up on my channel. And he said, Mom, I want to be on your channel again. I want to see the Chooky squad again because I miss them. So here he is making an appearance. We about to go stupid lit. We're about to go. Oh, cool. Well, the diff basically means that the back tires, they rotate together. You want to go somewhere, you're making a left turn, they both spin. Simple as that. Well, the diff means that the differential is welded so it moves together, not alone. It's one. Unite. Like us. We won. We won squad. So let me go ahead and get right into this guys. Make sure to look out for the emoji of the day. I'm my reels out there. Let's get it. This is gonna be a short video I think because there's only one pro and two cons. Basically I'm gonna start with the cons because I'm gonna hit you guys with the bad news first and then BAM slap you with the good news. Okay and hopefully that the good news outweighs the cons and you guys make a choice like that. One of the cons is that when you weld your div this car makes like a weird freaking noise this only happens when you're going when you're driving slow so i'll be freaking going five miles per hour you know like a little turtle you know crawling through the streets and bam i pull into the gas station or to the market or whatever whatever the case may be my car freaking starts making a weird ass noise it starts going like I don't know, it's like a weird noise and it's like beatboxing. I don't know, it makes a really squeaky noise. Like it's just kind of weird. I I it still kind of surprises me, <laughs> but it makes a weird noise and it sounds like the car is about to break. People stare at me. They're like and they stare at me and I'm like and I'm like looking away like this. Like I'm like Looking to the other side, you know, blo blocking out the, the haters. It's honestly a little embarrassing. At first, I would get uh, uh, really embarrassed and I would be like, oh my gosh, like I look freaking crazy right now. It's not a big issue, but it's it's part of the cons. Like, it makes a weird noise and everybody thinks that your car's broken, but it's not really broken. It's just a diff and they don't know that and they're like, what the hell is going on? I'll try to show you guys in a little bit. If you don't think that's a major problem, then you know that ain't a con then but for me it was a problem and then i kind of just stopped caring for it so it's like whatever's now i'm used to it oh my gosh i have this funny video when i pulled up into a car show and my car was just squeaking its way to its spot it was funny i must admit but i'll roll that clip so you guys can go ahead and watch it I'm telling you guys, it makes a weird noise and it's somewhat embarrassing. I must admit, it's a little embarrassing. Alrighty guys, second con of the day. It wears your tires like, oh my gosh, look at this. I just realized this right now. Look at it, it's already pulling. The reason why it wears your tires is because most of the time when people get their diff welded, it's because they wanna go crazy, they wanna go lit. Wanna have fun with their car, you know? Like, that's what it's meant for. If you're welding your diff, you're most likely going to slide it. You're most likely gonna do donuts and that's gonna wear your tires. So that's where the wear of your tires comes in. Now that means that you're gonna spend some extra cash on some tires because you're having fun with it. It, but my opinion it's worth it and it's fun so it's cool it sucks I've had so many times where I have to replace my tires but it's worth it in my opinion now for the best part the pro okay the pro is everything okay and that is the experience that you're gonna get when you have your diff wallet because that means you're just gonna have more fun you're gonna be doing donuts you're gonna be doing some some hoonigan stuff you know I'm telling you the experience that you have when you have your diff wallet so when my diff was not welded I would literally try doing donut and 
my car would just be screeching and it was so embarrassing because I would be doing nothing I would just be going around the circles like a dog chasing his tail not doing nothing so yeah guys once I got my dip wallet it took me a little while to get better but I'm actually doing a donut now like I can actually say I could do a donut basically the moral of the story is that for me the pro outweighs the two cons that it has and that's why I would say it's worth it because it's just so much fun and it's just so beautiful now if you're thinking about welding a dip and I would say go for it YOLO and what people think because I know you guys are gonna get those stairs but you know what you're having fun as long as you're happy that's all that matters and this car makes me happy as hell so that's literally all that matters all those stairs that people give it's not mad it just does not matter you're having fun you know you gotta live life to its fullest and worrying about what people think it's just not gonna cut it it's just not gonna pass it that is not pass the vibe trick go ahead and do what you want to do while you're diff just do it it's fun <laughs> It is so hot today, but I still want to go out for a little ride. Let's go. Woo! Bye -bye. Toby! Turns out that they didn't have any more controllers, so I'm stuck with my old broken controller for now. Till a few weeks. They said it's not gonna be there till a few weeks. Anyways, just found out that we have another problem with Toby. And I found out today because I was trying to take him somewhere and boom, something bad happened. And you guys are gonna have to wait until the upcoming video so I can tell you guys what happened with Toby because it is a disaster. <coughs> hey, I get, Bobby. I think he doesn't like the board. Baba, what does the board do to you? Come on, Baba, get on! Get on the board! Since you want to uh, do all that barking. Since you want to bark that bark and not talk the talk. Or what? How do they say it? <laughs> Guys, I'm going to try to ollie onto the curb, but I'm going to do it on the safe side. So I'm going to go onto the grass. Let's see how that goes. It's freaking 103 degrees a day. Guys, you know how I've been saying that it's been really hot in every video? Well, look at this. Look at that, it's really hot and I'm dying. <laughs> barking at my board and he keeps distracting me because he follows me so i'm gonna go ahead and tell him to go to the house he's gonna get all sad watch bubba go to the house go i'm not gonna let him press you though go to the house go sir sir go go to the house you know where you live go to the house oh, i'm just kidding bubba i'm just kidding just kidding you ugly just kidding stop barking at me though Move! Papa is trying to kill me! 
excuse my sweaty face, but I'm freaking exhausted. I Unfortunately, I didn't get to land a damn trick, guys. I promise you, though, that I will be back and I will land that trick for you guys. I promise I will not give up. And it kind of just reminded me of life. So you guys are going to have a goal and I swear a bunch of things are going to come your way. And you just have to overcome them. Today, I'm telling you guys, I'm not in the best shape right now. And I'm not going to use that as an excuse, but my legs are literally giving out on me. Like, I swear. I feel like they're wobbly and flimsy and just like, it's just so bad. But like I said, I will come back and I will land it and I will show you guys. Remember to never give up. I am not quitting. And if you guys made it this far, then you guys are the freaking best. Make sure to comment the skateboard emoji or like the little person on the skateboard. Post notification shout out goes out to Blue 17. Thank you so much for having your post notifications on. And if you guys want a shout out at the end of my video, you guys know what to do. I appreciate you guys so much. Enjoy the rest of your day. Peace. Just a little kickback. Chilling out, max and relaxing. Summertime with a fantastic kickback. I'ma I'm crack another cold one. Barbecue chicken almost done. Kickback. Hey, all the shorties came through and my friends came too. It's a